Hello students, in the previous session we discussed fixed point and floating point formats, fixed point digital signal processors and floating point processors. Now we will discuss finite impulse response and infinite impulse response filter implementation in fixed point system. We develop FIR filter implementation in Q format first and then infinite impulse response filter implementation next. In addition, we assume that with the given input range in Q format, the filter output is always in Q format even if the filter passband gain is larger than 1. First, to avoid the overflow for an adder, we can scale the input down by a scaling factor S which can be determined by the equation. Where H of K is the impulse response of the adder output and I max the maximum amplitude of the input in Q format. The adder output can actually be expressed as a convolution output as shown here. When some of the FIR coefficients are larger than 1, which is beyond the range of the Q format representation, coefficient scaling is required. The idea is that scaling down the coefficient will make them less than 1 and later the filter output will be scaled up by the same amount before it is sent to the DAC. The modified implementation of direct form 1 FIR filter is shown here. So in this, the scaling factor B makes the coefficient BK divided by B convertible to the Q format. The scale factor S and B are usually chosen to be a power of 2. So the simple shift operation can be used in the coding process. Now we will see direct form 1 implementation of the IR filter. So this shows the direct form 1 implementation of the IR filter. The purpose of the scaling factor C is to scale down the original filter coefficient to the Q format. The factor C is usually chosen to a power of 2 for using a simple shift operation in DSP. Here we conclude our today's session. Thank you and happy learning.